What's up, y'all? It's your boy said. Let's talk. This is what I got for y'all today. Check me out. Do y'all think overall it's a good idea for people to have best friends of the opposite sex? And I'm talking about when you're grown. Not as kids, but when you're grown. Do you think it's a good idea for men to have females as a best friend or for females to have males as a best friend? Hmm. This one is kind of touchy because things can go south really quickly, right? If a couple is sitting down, right, enjoying lunch, whatever the case may be, and the female has a male best friend, right? And let's just say he comes along just out of happenstance. They happen to be at the same place at the same time, right? He comes along, shakes shakes the boyfriend hand, introduces, you know what I'm saying, uh, greets him or whatever. And then he gives his female best friend, which is the guy's girlfriend, he gives her a hug, right? Now they hug up chest to chest and his hand might be around and slide down the back a little bit, right? Hmm. Now, when they're, when they're moving away from each other, his hand may go too far and slide across her butt, right? Maybe it's done intentionally, maybe it's not. But the boyfriend could see this and overreact to it. And overreact really bad, right? And now maybe him and the boyfriend, excuse me, him and the best friend is, is arguing now. They arguing. Him and, the, him and the best friend. The boyfriend feels disrespected by the way the best friend hugged his girlfriend in front of him. And the fact that he ran his, his thing, glazed his hand across her butt as they moved apart from each other, right? This is how the boyfriend is feeling. The best friend is feeling like, hey, I didn't do nothing wrong. I give her a hug like this all the time. This is my best friend. You overreacted. Who's right in that situation and who's wrong? Because at some point, right? At some point, it's going to get to where it's no longer about her. And now it's about these two men, man to man. It's no longer about her. Maybe she, maybe she was the catalyst or the cause of it indirectly. But now this is man to man. And a lot of times that's how it goes. Once again, who's right and who's wrong in that situation? But I think that these situations can be avoided. And this is, this is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. A lot of these situations can be avoided by not having best friends of the opposite sex. And I said best friends, not, not friends. You can be friends, I guess, but best friends. It just presents so many problems. It really, really does. Because when you flip that situation around, Ladies, imagine you in that same situation. You having lunch with your boyfriend and his female best friend comes up, right? His female best friend comes up and, and gives him a hug chest to chest, right? Not the sideways church hug, you know, a little pity pat pat. Y'all know how the, how the church hug goes. She don't give him one of those hugs. She give him a hug chest to chest. Her breast is on his chest. Exactly. Women ain't gonna like that. They're not going to like that. So that's why I don't think it's a good idea. Because we all know that in that situation, women are way more likely to pop off than men are. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't see that as being a good idea. And like I said, this is just my opinion, y'all. I know for some people, it works. For some people, it works. They have no problem with having a best friend of the opposite sex. They actually think it's a good idea. Okay, and, and hey, if it works for you, it works for you. But I'm just one of them guys who think that if a female has a guy best friend, that guy best friend want to smash. Now, he may not say nothing. He may not never act on it. But if it's thrown at him, he going to take it. That's just how I think. You know what I'm saying? About females who have guy best friends. That guy always want to smash his best friend. If she's a female, I'm saying. Like I said, I might be wrong, but this is just my opinion. Y'all be sure to drop me a comment on this one, y'all. We got to keep this going. I know a lot of y'all got situations like this because some of y'all have best friends of the opposite sex. And some of y'all significant others may be thinking the way I'm thinking, but you thinking the opposite of it. So y'all definitely got to let me know some of the um, experiences that y'all been dealing with. You never know. Your experience might help somebody else out. You know what I'm saying? Or something that you may say may bring light to something else that someone else is going through. 
So definitely drop your comments, man. Let's keep the ball rolling on this one. I'm your boy Said. I'm out of time till the next time. I'm screaming, let's talk.